Good afternoon, Master Clarice. Good afternoon, Ziggy. How are you? I am good, and thank you so much for being here. No worries. Very excited. So I've seen that you just released your new book for the, this yes, year. Yes, I have. This is my latest book, Master Clarice Chan's Guide to Twenty Twenty Three: Year of the Ying Water Rabbit. Oh, that's a picture of a rabbit on the book. Is this the Ying Water Rabbit? Yes, it is. Although the Ying Water Rabbit is supposed to be black <laughs> or blue, and you don't have a blue rabbit because that's the colors that are represented in the five elements for water. So, but I thought the white rabbit is really cute. So, the coming year will be the year of the rabbit, and when does this start? It will start on the fourth uh, of February. Oh, fourth of February, not on the first day of the New Year. No, not on the first day of Chinese New Year, unless the fourth of February, which is always the changeover from one zodiac mm. sign to another, occurs on the same day as Chinese New Year. Oh. We're always gonna have either Chinese New Year before the Chun, which yeah. is the fourth of February, yeah. or the Spring Festival, or it's gonna be after. So I don't remember a time when it's on the same day. Oh. <laughs> The fourth of February means that it's almost at the end of Chinese New Year. Yes, it is for this year. So it's gonna be a little bit strange because first you celebrate Chinese New Year, you wish everybody welcome to the Rabbit Year, and then the year, Rabbit Year actually begins on the second last day of Chinese New Year. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like welcome Year of the Rabbit, goodbye, goodbye. Chinese New Year. <laughs> So what, what can we expect from this book? What does this book cover? Oh, um, it covers um, the. Chinese Lunar Chinese New Year festivals, oh. uh, the do's and the don'ts, from spring cleaning to welcoming the God of Wealth, oh. and to different festivals uh, that occur during Chinese New Year, uh, like you have the everyone's birthday we call it. Oh, that's yes. like the creation day. Yeah. and then you have um, the Chap Gong Mei, mm. which is the Lantern Festival, which actually is the last day of Chinese New Year. Of course, not to forget you have the day before that. Oh. is the Li Chun, which is yes. the changeover of the zodiac and also the what we call known as the Spring Festival and there is a very popular tradition that comes with that festival each year what do you know what that is? Mm, is it the one where you deposit the money into yes, your bank account? Yes, yes <laughs> it is so okay. the book covers uh, Feng Shui it covers Chinese New Year from the beginning to the end yeah. And then it also has the prediction for the 12 animal zodiac. Oh, 12 zodiacs. Yes, okay. so it's very exciting. Everybody wants to know. I have clients asking me, so I am a, born in the year of the goat, so which ranking am I? <laughs> so everything is covered in the book. Everything is covered in the book. So, well, just about everything about Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. about feng shui, and about the zodiac signs are covered in the book. And where can we find the book? Well, in Singapore, you can buy them in the major bookstores. Oh, okay. Um, Kinokuniya being one of them. Yeah. It's right in, in Orchard Road, so it's very easy to get to. And I think uh, some of the time bookstores has it. And you can also order it from uh, my website. Oh. Yeah, I'll be happily post them to you. To get a copy of my book, you can click onto the link in the description box. Well, so you mentioned about depositing money on Li Chun. Right. So tell, tell me more, I'm very curious. Do you not deposit money on Li Chun? Um, I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a tradition that kind of, I don't know where it come from, you oh. know, it just came about like in the maybe last 10 or 20 years that it becomes very popular that people deposit their money on Li Chun. I think it's because of the word Chun oh. has the same sound as saving your money. money. So, don't ask me who started that tradition, but on every 4th of February, you will see long queues at the bank because everybody want to deposit their money in the bank. It's a very good day for the bank. So is it true that depositing money on um, Li Chun will, will result in good wealth for the year? I think it's law of attraction. I think it's intention. Your mm. intention is to you know, deposit money in the bank so that you're going to have an auspicious money year, mm. you're going to have a wealthy year and that's in your mind and it's an auspicious day. You physically go to the bank or you deposit money mm. through your ATM or you put it in your own little safe box. Mm. I think you are telling the universe that, okay, you know, I really want this to be an auspicious year. I want to monetize, you know, prosperity. I think that's why it works. And we can find everybody has a different time. According to your zodiac sign, you can select 
the hour oh. that is most suitable for you to go to the bank, go to the ATM, and if you can't make it for all the hours and it happens to be in the night, you can put it in your own safe deposit box. Okay, I make it very simple. If you ask me, I have been practicing this for, I don't know, for as long as I have been a feng shui master. It seems to have work. <laughs> Which is very long, that is very long. <laughs> yes, yes, and it, well, I do it every year mm. and it gives me a lot of uh, motivation mm. uh, to do that. So I don't think it's a bad tradition. I know there are people who don't like it, who think that it is a hoax, but hey, you know, everyone can dream. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe that, you know, if you set your intention, then you have, you know, set the pace of the year for yourself. Mm -hmm.